This is Felony 1179. A game with an enormous manual in full colour. Now, I hear this will be quite a short journey, but before we start this game, you have to hear this story. In the late 16th century, archaeologist Thomas Samuel discovered the route to an unexplored city of gold. He found riches beyond his wildest dreams. Vast amounts of gold and precious gemstones, as well as several caskets, were buried in the ground. Decorated and inlaid with gold, diamonds and rubies, these caskets were the prize of the find. Unknown kings were mummified inside four of them, while others were filled with gems and gold bars. However, one casket remained unopened through the ages, and sealed no matter what tool was used. Eventually, the casket was purchased at an auction by entrepreneur Albert Brookman IV. His late grandfather's life had been devoted to unravelling the mystery of this strange and phenomenal artefact. His will described a set of keys that he believed would open the casket. Treasures valuing many millions of dollars supposedly were hidden inside. There are three keys that you will need to acquire before the set will be complete. The Jade Statue, the Golden Wing, and the Silver Staff. All three keys are required to open the casket. Mr. Brookman hired a man feared in the business for his characteristics of ruthless pursuit and disrespect for the law. You! Your mission is to find and retrieve these keys at all costs. What? Okay, we're here looking for keys to some caskets in Felony 1179. That is a ram. It looks like a ram, at least. Before the ram SRT-10, though, this is a ram... Um, forget the model. What was that other sporty ram? Uh, anyway, oh, I have to get a memory card first. I've got room on the snake of bacon car, I better check that. Snake okay, browser says what? 42 kilobytes free, that's plenty of space. The unauthorized reproduction of all or any part of this product and the unauthorized use of registered trademarks are likely to constitute a criminal offense. Piracy harms. Oh, never mind. Felony 1179 by ASCII Entertainment. It's 1997. Copyright Yano Man and Climax. All right. English, French, or German. Obviously, German. No. English. Warning! The movements and actions of the cars in this game occur only in a virtual world. Do not, under any circumstances, attempt these maneuvers in reality. Uh oh. Never mind, it's gone again. ASCII Entertainment. Oh boy, look at that fire. I have never actually played this game at all. I haven't even put it in the PS2, so it's all new to me. We're now loading. In the late 16th century, archaeologist Thomas Samuel discovered the route to a previously unexplored city of gold. There he found vast amounts of treasure and caskets buried in the ground which contained gems, gold bars, and the corpses of ancient kings. But there was one casket that could not be opened. Eventually, the casket was purchased at an auction by the entrepreneur Albert Brookman IV for two million dollars. His late grandfather's writings described a set of keys that would open the casket. Treasures valuing many millions of dollars lie hidden in this casket. There are three keys, the jade statue, the golden wing, and the silver staff. All three keys are required to open the casket. To find the keys, Mr. Brookman hired a man feared in the business world for his characteristics of ruthless pursuit and disregard for the law. You. <laughs> oh, well. Felony 1179. Oh, right. Let's press start, then. Felony, 1179. All right. So, it's a uh, driving game, I would suppose. I've played Super Runabout San Francisco, so let's see if this is similar. Okay, game settings. Maps on. Interlace mode. 
But interlacing is on. I'm confused why it would be off. Fine, sound mounts is fine. Buttons. Okay, dokey. Ooh. L1 and R1 shift. Oh, would I rather shift up with R1? Yes, probably. Accelerate, brake, reverse, change view. That worked for me. Hmm, all that. Shift down, shift up. Man, that sounds bad. What's E like? Accelerate, brake. That's just weird. What's F? Uh, G. Oh boy. H. How many combinations are there? I'll just stick with A. All right, we've got downtown, seaside. Oh, that's it. Okay, we'll go downtown. And I guess I'll try the DRM first. Manual, please. Mission one, steal the jade statue and run for it. Although all these menus are 50 hertz, I hope the game is too. Break out of Broad Street with the entire limit. To blast through the mansion gate that stands in your way, pick up the five sticks of dynamite that are scattered around Chinatown. Okay. Looking for dynamite. Oh, well, it's 25 FPS, but here we go. Ready? Of course I am. Oh yeah. Wobbly car. Oh boy. Oh no. Is that bad? Maybe I'm trying to call this destruction. <laughs> this is neat. Ah, love these classic races. Okay, so I should be avoiding or get oh yeah. Probably avoiding crashing like that. I think those red dots are either enemies or dynamite. Considering that those police cars were not dots, and I have to guess they're the dynamite sticks that I need. Into everything. That's a dynamite. Yep. Oh, this thing does not break well. Very realistic. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Oh, dear. Yep, get out of my way, everyone. Madman looking for dynamite. So, uh, how will this help me get the four keys? Oh, take that telephone booth! <laughs> Whoa, into the arcade! Oh, this is absolute madness. I can see why this was recommended to me and bought for me. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Why me? Colony 1179. Here we go, it says. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Uh, okay, I can't go that way. Into reverse. Neutral and first. I like that we have a neutral, not that it would do us any good in this game, but. Alright, we only have a few minutes to get through to. Alright, come on, we're damaging our car too much. We've got a ways to go. Oh, R2 and L2 also change gears. Alright. Whoa, it's blown up. I'm gonna have to go around this place? Yeah. I think that's the police. I'm gonna ignore their warning. Yep, police! <laughs> yeah, well, too bad, police. Oh, look how ruined my truck is. The stripes are bent. And that's not just a PS1 thing. I have injured this poor DRM. Oh, round the bus. I've got 115 seconds to make it to what's out there. Oh, there's a fuel gauge too. 
I don't suppose I can refuel my car. Oh, sports car man. Oh, that was painful. Here we go. This is where we go, isn't it? This is pretty easy for a PS1 game. They tend to uh, be more difficult. Uh, oh, now what? I guess I'm going this way. Keep out. Oh, boy. Buy barricades. $5,000 for a barricade? Yeah, that sounds like reasonable pricing. Alright, here we go. Ooh, will I make it in this time limit? Perhaps I've been too cocky. Shift down. needed 20 seconds remain danger 18 seconds oh I don't want to fail this now so close oh, I did it complete with 10 seconds left all right whoo well wow. result Best time is 10 minutes, my time 4.50. Well, how could the best time be 10 minutes if you only have a five minute time limit? S-O-B. 462,900 dollars. That's me again. Cool. All right, now what happens? We go and choose the other stage or something? We'll auto load. All right, well, downtown's complete next to Seaside. Uh, I will head out. I just want to try. I do wonder what that other option does. What does interlace mode on do? Seaside. Right, the start is there, the goal is at the end. Pretty straightforward. There's that open park in the middle, but that should be simple enough. Beautiful stuff. Alright, we've used the DRM. This BMW does not really appeal to me. But the Mini does. Although it's very light, very dangerous. <laughs> Let's go in the Mini. Mission 2. Steal the Golden Wings from a limousine. You have been informed that a white limousine is transporting the Golden Wings owned by Ryuzo Sugawara. Locate the limousine, remove the Golden Wings, and break through the police checkpoint. Okay. Hello, limousine. It's a long one. Alright, we have 270 seconds, or four and a half minutes, to uh, do whatever it is. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, here we go. Uh, two viewpoints. Here we go. Go, little mini. I may have made this unnecessarily hard for myself, but it should be fuel efficient. Not that that will help me much. Oh, it's not a mini. For legal reasons, it's min. We're going fast down the hill, as minis do. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, well. oh! I uh, went through the speed camera. Oh, wow, that's cool. Alright, so let's drive past these few. What an unusual game this is. Take a 
left here because I have to. Ooh, I destroyed that coupe completely. Ooh, almost caused pandemonium. You're in Japan. Ooh. Oh, what a fun road! Two hundred thousand dollars of damage, all of a sudden. Oh, hello. What? Oh, here we go onto the beach. Oh boy, oh boy, everything's gone mad. Move, people. Yes, hop away. <laughs> this little sprite's jump. Oh, it's amazing. Take that car. All right, let's go. This game is utterly ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, quite different to um, the other game, I think in the same series that I've played. Um, San Francisco... Uh, super... Super Runabout San Francisco Edition on the Dreamcast. I don't know if that was the same developer or... Hmm. Alright, so it looks like we have no objectives on the way there. I'm just supposed to get to the end in target time, which I may not be doing very well, we'll see. Oh, there's a red dot. Oh, 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 wrong way. I think I'm supposed to be getting that. How am I going to get that red dot? I, I can't smash through that barrier. 98 seconds. Oh, what have I done? Uh, can't go down there. Alright, I'll have to take this turn. Oh, yeah. this thing has brakes, alright. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I saw a red dot. Is I supposed to do something about the red dot? It's now running away. Go. I definitely have to catch this dot. That's the limo. Got it. Item taken. Of course, I have to get away now. <laughs> go into that camera to get touching the car. All right. I have a feeling I've not left myself enough time to escape. Oh no. Oh, because I took a wrong turn. Am I gonna make it? No, I don't think we're going to make it, unfortunately. Oh, the game doesn't end when my time limit hits zero? Hmm, unusual. Maybe that's so you can have a free drive and fail the mission, but you know, you still get to see all the sights. Sorry, car. Oh, that's much worse for me. Gee, what could the Vespa be? Sounds like that's just a way to automatically fail any mission. If this lightweight Mini's having all these troubles. Oh boy, come on, Mini, go. Perhaps there's other missions better suited to these small cars. I was not even remotely close to the time limit. Go, go, mini, go. Damn, what am I doing? Yeah. 
time over. So you can freely explore, but if you get there after the time's up, that's no good. Okay. Now I know. I guess I'll take the BMW. Uh, can I do anything to... There we go. Okay, on the taxi side it is. We will go in the... Yeah, not the vest. Oh, we've got the sieve now. Oh, and the NS... Oh, there's more things unlocked. Oh. A Civic? Or the NSX, which is actually an NSR. I think it would benefit me to drive the NSR. Mission 2, steal the golden wings from the limousine. And, and you have to get out. Break through the police checkpoint. So, don't take a wrong turn when you get in the middle. Okay. There goes limousine. Here I go. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Go. All right. Now this is speed. This should make my job much, much easier. I'm sure the DRM could pass every mission, but this is speed, all right. Holy cow! Yeah, so I think those slower cars are there just to handicap yourself. Okay, this is a bit hard to control. Jail, uh, yeah, J turn failed. Oh, I've spun out. Oh, for goodness sake, go straight. Good, 55 over the speed limit. That's more like it. This thing is twitching, goodness sake. I get, really? Okay, truck and police car suddenly destroyed. Here we go. Down and left. Oh, sorry, wagon. Oh, oh. Just let me through this. Yeah. Won't be the better car, maybe I'm better on something a bit more stable like Civic. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the tank truck. Okay. Fence, flower pot, everything's doomed. And exploding. Yep, take that explosives. Okay, I don't know what they were all there for. Alright, can we just every time I touch anything it explodes. No, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Why did the flower pot explode? All oh, right, it was the 90s when we exploded. See Golden I 007, for example. Which I saw was getting a remake, and I mentioned that when I made it to Monday episode a while back. It is getting a remake, but it's just not being released for whatever reason. Ah. Whoa, no, no, no! That's it. It's not my lucky day. I... <laughs> Shark bait. Oh, dear. Um, well that, Game over. that that brings a quick end to the NSR. Oh dear. Let's uh, let's not do it like that. Clearly, I need the good handling characteristics of a Honda Civic. Seaside. We will pass it. Third time lucky. Come on. Right, is there any other car unlocked? Or do they all go in order? No, let's just go back and take the sieve. Okay, 
Weighs 1,040. It's 4,070 millimeters long. I suppose there's kilos there. Torque 14.1. 14.1. Unit is that 130 horsepower? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Let's go. 14.1. That might be um kilogram force meters. Oh well. Anyway, let's do it. There goes the limousine, which I have to intercept. Uh, maybe I won't take the risky shortcut over the bridge this time. Oh, my legs. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Go. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's smoke on the front wheels. But the handling is sublime. So there we go. destroyed. Surely nothing is safe. Except the people. I hop to safety. Uh, I've slowed me down a little bit. I will not take the incredibly risky jump over the lake this time. Uh, over the river, I should say. Oh, I should have taken a left there. Uh, I still can't. Oh no, no, that's the broken bridge. Go, go, go. Wasting time. How am I going to get there in two minutes? Is that a cow moving? Like, moo! I'm not sure what that noise was. It seemed to be a cow. Ah, tank truck. I didn't need you. Good for my score. Alright, here we go. Going down on my left to catch that limo. And not waste heaps of time. Gotcha! Alright, I'm taken. Move it, tank truck. I've got somewhere to get to in 90 seconds. The other way would have been faster. Well, through a tunnel. Um, oh, this is so cool. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. The effects of crashing into a car are, well, somewhat realistic, apart from being totally fine, but uh, it really does slow you down. Oh, that's like good for my score, but let's get going. Come on. There's that exit. I need to get out of here in only 40 seconds. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, not now, truck. I'm being sent back an enormously long way. Oh, for goodness sake. There goes 10 whole seconds. Perhaps it's best to not destroy anything. 
I don't know, perhaps it's best to bring some other vehicle. I really I do not know what I can do. I've got quite a ways to go, let's see. 16, 15. Alright, time runs out at 4.30. This time I get to the exit in how long? Okay, that's just awful. Well, how far is it really? How how close was I? So I'm thinking this Civic might. Ah, oh, it's only 13 seconds up. That, that definitely could have been achieved with some slightly less awful driving and maybe a few less humongous accidents. But in the interest of variety, I'm going to do that with the BMW. Even though I think the Civic would be the better option. Come on, let's go. Not the Vespa, not the Mini. The 318. Hmm. There's no manual transmission for the 318. Interesting choice. Okay, we'll give that a go. Yes, I suppose it would be an auto. I mean, well, they usually come in both forms. G manual transmissions are very popular in Germany, so much so that German traffic lights have an extra light to tell you when to get in gear before you go. But anyway, no manual option available for this one, it would seem. It wouldn't let me move to the side. Let's see how we go Ready. in this automatic 318. One less thing to worry about. It is still a four speed, I presume, yes. Five gears! Oh, aren't we luxurious? Five gears and not the most responsive handling. I'm trying to change gears, but I cannot. Let's try not to wreak havoc, even though that does seem to be one of the goals of this game. Let's try and not smash everything, but just get our limo and get out of here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well that's one way through. Wow, this truly is an overlooked masterpiece of the game. Re-release Felony 1179 already. Oh, we're going down the beach because we're pointing the right way already. Right, come on, come on, please, cooperate, car. Oh, the stairs to the lighthouse. Oh, anything. Stuck at 60, it's the maximum speed you can do on sand. Let's see. I do like this game's commitment to fun and variety. I can definitely get behind that. Yes, I can save time jumping over the bridge, but that's very dangerous. Ah. Oh, I see the bridge. He is on this road. Good. I've gotten here a bit earlier, so. Whoa, no! Where are you? Where are you? There you are, there you are. Well, that wasn't very difficult. Let's go. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, I'm not very difficult to take down the limit. That, that part's easy enough. The hard part is controlling your vehicle, not blowing up everything else in the known universe, and getting out. I've taken the slow way again. That's not good. It's all right. Ah, truck. Well, that's great for my score, but... Okay, it didn't slow me down too much. I have 73 seconds. That's more than I had before when I got here. 45 or something. I think I might, might have enough to make it. Ah, truck again. Well, good for my score, I guess. Uh, let's go up the highway. Police car! Oh, police car! Come on, come on! 36 seconds. Good bye. Right, we'll, we'll get out of here. We've got plenty of time this time. I think. Please don't have a truck spawn. Here we go. Here we go. We made it. Complete. All right. Um. Complete. Yeah, that's complete. That's the second map. There must be some more, right? There are other treasures. Was there four or six? I've already forgotten. <laughs> that's me done. Yep, highest amount. Put our new score in. Oh, and the uh, speed camera. We have those as scores too. Interesting. I like that. Really? Very creative game from 25 years ago. I don't know the exact release date, but I'll say it's for the 25th anniversary. So that's Seaside and Downtown Complete. What's next is... Paris! Paris! Oh, oh. Uh, oh we haven't got anything else unlocked. All right, Paris, we start uh, down here, and there's a couple of routes. There's a very complicated bit in the middle there, and then a goal. Looks like fun. What are our options. I have not yet tried the VES. I've tried the Civic. The NSR is undrivable. We've also got the GT5. And this GT5 is, let's see, that is quite plainly an R33 GTR. Nice. And also we got a bus. <laughs> a bus. Oh boy. I'll try that out later. I'm going to drive the GT5 because I, um, you know, I might want to win. I'm definitely going to sample the bus later on. Mission three, steal the silver staff and head for the shopping center. Oh, steal the silver staff, which is hidden in a stone statue, and head to the docks uh, behind the shopping center. Use one of the phone booths scattered around the city to call for the helicopter. Oh, there's a lot of things going on here. Metavo Street, Erasmus Pass. Okay. Steal the silver staff in a stone statue. Head to the docks. There's a phone booth to call a helicopter. I guess I have to just smash into a phone booth, or... Oh, well, here's a helicopter. And I smash out of a container. Oh, nice. Ready. I Yeah, I'm ready. This is... Oh, this is amazing. Go. Move out of my way, Christmas tree. Oh, yes. As predicted... Oh, mine's manual. Let's shift up. Um, this car handles wonderfully thanks to its all-wheel drive and it's bloody fast because it's a GTR. And I've already broken the rear windshield and possibly every other window and a police car. But that's alright. Into the sand you go. There is a red dot over there which I must go do. Really, even if you couldn't read, it's, um, this game sort of explains itself. Drive to red dot, smash red dot, and then go the right way. But, it's beautiful. Uh, how do I turn left? Where's the... Okay, I guess I'll take this. Uh, okay, the bridge just appeared. Over the river scene, turn left. This game is, it actually is beautiful. I, I know, yeah, a PS1 game, dated primitive graphics, but um, you know, from a distance, at the right times, 
It looks lovely. That's his phone booth. Ah! Okay, that's not going well. Oh, now the time limit starts. Here we go. Here we go. What? Oh, oh well. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do. Ugh. Maybe I'm not supposed to start the timer until I already have the statue? I don't know. Perhaps this being a more freeform mission I could get away with doing in a bus, but I'm just going to drive it. I'm just scouting it. And if I have to do this again, I don't mind. Oh, that's bad. Actually, I seriously love the visual look of this game. Start going for. Like I've often thought, if I made, I think all the time about uh, making a 3D driving racing game. Or several ideas. But generally, I was thinking of like um, my main idea is that games these days with their really fancy graphics can't get as much content as fast. Like if you look at Gran Turismo, the people make 70 cars a year. You know, that's just no good. Yes, they're beautiful cars, but you just can't get the same quantity you could in the days of PS1 or 2. So I would go for making a game with really low poly stuff. And I was thinking of flat shading, but um, these are really nice low res textures with no texture filtering, which that chunky look. They may have convinced me that maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. Jury's still out. I do like flat shaded look, but I also like PS1 looks, so Okay, ooh, here we've got a really complicated bit, but Yeah, wow. So the thing I'm looking for is hidden in a stone statue. Uh, maybe that's at the other end. I really don't... I'm not actually particularly sure what I should be doing. Oh, there's a red dot. Perfect. Alright. It's a, just appeared up ahead. Oh, is this a dead end? It is. The map was correct. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. This map. Is this... Is any part of Paris like this? Which arrondissement is... Uh, is this? With all these... The sunken streets behind walls. I don't know. I love those lamps, though. The way they look. Gorgeous. All right, here we go. That's this item taken. Good, and still two minutes left. I think we're on a roll. Yeah, this is going all right. Not too much further to go up the road, is there? Cruising in third gear. We have got five, haven't we? Yeah. Like a real GTR, but I just can't get enough open road to get that fast. Uh, we've got some difficult switchbacks coming up. Uh, so this, this is an objective-based driving game from before Crazy Taxi. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Who was that other PS? I think there's a, there's a later one than Crazy Taxi. But now I'm desperately curious to try it. I had it, I played it a bit on a demo. There's a PS1 game where you... I think it's a Crazy Taxi clone. It must be from after Crazy Taxi. But you deliver pizzas. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I thought that could have spelled game over. Oh my god. Lucky it's frozen. Uh, you deliver pizzas on a scooter this PS1 game. I'll have to find out what it is. There was a video of it on one of my demo discs that I used to play. <sighs> PS1 Pizza Scooter game. If I look that up, I'd probably find it. That's a similar game to this that I'm going to have to go see if buy off eBay. Is this the exit? Oh! Oh, no, no. This is a dead end. 27 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> the helicopter, the helicopter. Must be up here. No? 
Oh, Dios mio, where's the helicopter? What? Oh no, where's the exit? I can't leave! Is it through this little gate? No? Oh no! <laughs> oh, I was so close. Alright, well thankfully the way this game works I can find the thing afterwards. Really though, where's the... I smashed through here? Into the shop? That's a bit tricky to get into. Oh boy. Oh that's right, yeah, it's on the dock behind the shop. So I was just a little bit too slow and smashing my way in here. How would I do it in the bus? I don't know, I think I might take the Vespa. Given how this is going. No, that was, yeah, that was really cool. Ah, mad. Yep, so you drive through the docks and you always just drive to the end. Don't you? There's our helicopter, so too slow. But that's how you do it. Okay. Honestly, because of how twisty the last bit is, I am going to try that in the Vespa. Time over. And I might try getting the statue, then turning around, calling the helicopter, starting with time limit, and then running back. Which I know is slow, but that might be worth a try. Alright, here we go. Paris, but in a Vespa. And this is the part where I start worrying. Is the thing actually recording at all? Oh, it always happens when I'm recording. Yes, it's recording. Bus. Bus is too big. This. Is this a bad idea? Oh, of course it is. Steal the silver staff head for the shopping center. Yes, so it's hidden stone statue. Although it's not like we have to pick which statue, we know which one it is. And then we call for the helicopter, which starts the timer. So this one, you've got a little bit more room. I like that Le Cafe sign. Anyway, here we are. I'm ready. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it's not the slowest Vesper in the world. Wow. Oh, it's an angry little bike that tops out at 96 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, it's getting faster. I uh, see I've got multiple different um, telephone booths I could use. So I'll ignore them and head for the stone statue for now. Bad for the engine. Or oh, the gearbox, I should say. Sorry, police car. I'm just a square backed dude on a Vespa who hasn't got time for your problems. I really do have a very square body, though, that you can see through a time. Oh, look at that! It's a 2CV. Oh. I wonder if that is a playable car. down. Ah, oh, there we go. And go. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a... Uh, yeah, I won't call that yet. I want to go get the statue first and then turn around and get that. Whoa! I have 
no idea what happened. Collisions cause unpredictable things. Alright, wrong way indeed, I'll go this way. Although I'll have to turn around again. Ah, uh, maybe there's another. Maybe there's another uh, telephone booth. We'll see. I hope there's another motorbike with more power to use. Whoa, how did I end up in the train station? Oh no, where am I going? I'm racing a train. Well, nothing else matters now, I'm racing this train. Where am I going? Who knows? Probably a secret shortcut. However, it's not getting me any closer to the thing I need. Although... Oh, I see. That might be, that must be more phone booths. So I don't need to smash an early phone booth. I just need to smash the statue. Um, okay. So this goes all the way through, bypasses that whole city. I hope it's going to come out somewhere here and I can go back on the streets. That seems logical. Uh, yeah, take that ticket gate. Why do I say danger? Is because I'm on fire? Oh, there's the statue. Item taken, perfect. And there's the booth. So, you really don't need to smash the early phone booth if there's one right there. How am I going to put out the fire on my Vespa? I don't know. Here we go. I seem to have a shorter time limit now. Whoa! Not what I needed! Maybe the danger is because my damage is extremely high and my bike's about to explode. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's be careful. going too slowly. Thirty two seconds. I don't think that'd be quite enough to get through the shop. Oh, especially not now. Can I please not touch that again? Ah, uh, again, I've not made it. No, we're not going to make it. I haven't got enough time. I've done it all wrong. go through the shop. Through. This thing's undrivable. Probably could say it'd be damaged. Unless I can just go around the shop. Yeah. 
Car crashed. Oh, what a shame. I, I broke it anyway. Yeah, it was. <sighs> yeah, it was game pretty over. destroyed. All right, all right, game over. Hmm, what vehicle to bring? A bus? Would a bus work? Will that work just because it's such an audacious idea? Yeah, I think it will. I think that's a great idea. Absolutely a bus. Yep, still the silver stuff. Head for the shopping centre. In a bus. Come on, let's, let's do this. Oh, what a ridiculous idea I have. Yep. Go. <laughs> oh, it's got fully modelled seats and everything. Fantastic. Is it a bad idea? Also, yes. Although the handling is quite predictable and reasonable. It's not a car that steers like a bus, it's just a bus that steers like a bus. How I'm going to get it through the end, I don't know, but we'll see. Oh, goodbye, police car and police car. Oh, and another one. I don't want to call the uh, thing yet. Oh, what that called? Probably. Well, it doesn't beep when it reverses, unfortunately. But here we go. Sorry, coupe. And sedan. Ooh, I just fit. Ah, I was smashed to the good lord. Woohoo, indeed. That must be me. Sorry, flower pot. Don't know why that warrants an action cam, but we go right. <laughs> okay, these narrow streets are not the kindest for our bus. Buses go down narrow streets all the time, it's definitely possible. Oh! That's not. That's not the. Uh, Statue. I've just hit the timer. All right, so we've got a little bit more time. The further back you hit it, the more time you get. But hmm. Here with the other flower, uh, flower, the other thing is, so I would have gotten 120 seconds if I hit the one near that, 
and I've got slightly less than 120. Oh, let's see how we go. If we can get there faster than the Vespa was going, we should be all right. I think we get a very good money score, and we definitely won't explode, so we should be going pretty well, even though it's very slow. Maybe it would be better to use the GTR or GT5 after all. Here we go. <laughs> the river and whoa! Propelled at the tremendous, tremendous, tremendous speed. All right, 36 seconds remain. I don't quite think that's enough, but we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try smashing through the front of the shop. Hopefully, that will get us through the place. I don't really know. I just have to get through here. Oh no. Come on, just smash through the gate. No, we can't go through that way. How do we do it on the bus? Do we go to the right? Oh, maybe that... Oh, the bigger glass there. Oh, no. It took me too long to work out. All right, the biggest glass opening... That's where I need to go. But yeah, okay, I, I would have had a nightmare in these shelves anyway. Oh well, perhaps this time the Civic is the answer. I won't try it in the same car twice, you know. I'm going to keep, it, keep the variety going. Uh, yeah, retire. Paris, but in a Civic. Let's try that. As much as I think the GT5 is excellent, we'll go with the Civic. Or the Civ. Trying to drown it this time. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Going through Tavo Street and all that. I get it. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Go. Here we go. Alright, this is true speed. And it's French wheel drive. I don't mean to keep destroying these two cars, but they're just in the way. Interesting circle seems to reverse. Yeah, that's helpful.
Whoa, that hurt for some reason. So this part's all untimed, which is helpful. Yeah, I don't know which is the best phone booth to hit. They all give you different amounts of time, depending on how far away they are, but I think I'll just hit the close one uh, with the statue and then just go real quick. Should be alright. Hit it, turn around, and then take the subway. That might be the best course of action, I'm not really sure. Who knows, maybe there's a phone booth really close to the exit, I'm not really sure. It probably wouldn't be worth turning all the way around to take the uh, fast one. Uh, I think so. Uh, I don't know the best strategy, I'm no expert. Taken. All right, that's the silver staff. This is the telephone booth. Two minutes to go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! What? I, um, I just need to get out. Oh no! This is terrible, terrible, terrible. Get out of here! Come on. No, oh, this has gone awfully wrong. Just that little mistake may have cost me a little bit. I know I can go a lot faster than the best for all the bus, but I just don't know. Full throttle. Riverway. Twenty-three. Oh boy, oh boy. I just don't think it's enough. Am I gonna make it? I don't feel like it. No. We're not. Bugger! We really do need the extremely fast car that we do to that. You see, you didn't even get to the shop on time. Yes, that's the zero seconds. So I get in, I take the right and out the back. And then what, I go right around this one. Left to the end, end. Zigzagging, straight in. Through here, and then. 
then. Damn, what am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? I'm wasting your time. All you viewers. Time over. Yeah, time over, alright. Oh dear. If I didn't have to do each level five times, this wouldn't take so long. That's it. I'm back with a vengeance. I'm ready. I have a feeling I can do this. Go. By hitting an earlier phone booth, give myself more time. And uh, a few other things. Oh, sorry, police car. Or maybe I'm not sorry, that's right. I'm supposed to be a maniac driver. down here? No. Alright. That's my plan. Smash the other phone booth and then fly through on the underground way. Uh, what's the way up Three hundred seconds. Right, here we go. <laughs> I love games where you can drive through the subway to take a shortcut. Alright, here we go. Let's hope this goes well. Hmm. Narrowly avoided death. Oh boy, oh boy, we're going fast. Call me the TGV, because I'm a very fast train. And French. Uh, ooh, 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 that's the way out. Oh good, excellent. I'm going to have to make a difficult turn. Maybe this negates all the speed advantages. Through the ticket gate. Yeah, oh, yep, yeah, okay. I think I can go through the other train station as well and that'll come out just where the other statue is. Or oh, the, the other statue, I mean. And go to the left. Yeah, yeah. Ah, turn around, you dong. Here we go. Uh, 
left, I think. There's a train on the right. No? Maybe there's going to be a train on the left. It confused me. This is getting me through the crowded city faster. Provided we take a right here. Yep, that's how it goes. Okay. Brakes. Oh boy, am I. Okay, so the end result is about the same. Although, that's an extra 30 seconds. And I'm in a much faster car. 26 seconds of it. Alright, I think this will be. This should be enough. An extra 15 seconds is all I really needed before, and I'm now in a very fast car. which I can't control all the time, it's too fast. Five seconds remaining. This time, that should be enough. Breaks two. One. Two. Into the shop. Smashing the shelves. Shelves. Back out. All right. Now, here, we take a right, we take a left, we take a right, we take a left, we go left-ish. Twenty-four seconds left. Wonderful. Complete. Alright. Whew. Complete. Oh, that took a few tries, I'm gonna rush my eyes. What's this? Here we go. Oh, was that all the treasures we needed? Just three stages. Is <laughs> that's actually it? Wow. What about all the other cars to unlock? Okay. Wow. Well, they, they, they made such a very detailed game. So many things going on in it. They uh, couldn't make it uh, very long. <laughs> oh, well, alright. Kan Naito is producer and concept and design. Main programming by Masayasu Yamamoto. Car motion. Rang by Masumi Nagaya. Same programming, also Masayasu Yamamoto. Director, Kasuhige Inaba. That is a small team. A very, very small team. 
to make this wonderful game 25 years ago. Here's my car, the GT5, crashing in some location. Where is that? Is that level one? I don't know. Oh, here we go. More slippery. It's course layouts by Kan Naito, Kazuchika Inaba, Koji Takahashi, Hidehiro Yoshida, and Masayasu Yamamoto. Course modeling by Koji Takahashi, Hidehiro Yoshida, and Hiro Tada Kakusaka. Layer modeling by Kazuchika Inaba, Koji Kondo, Shingo Yamada. Okay, there's a lot of people who had multiple roles here. Extra design by Kazuchika Inaba and Shingo Yamada. Alright. Obstacle setting, Kan Naito, Kazushige Naba, Masayasu Yamamoto, Hideyori Yoshida. Car modeling, Toshiaki Sakai. You modeled all the cars? Good job, Toshiaki Sakai. Parameter setting by Kan Naito. Screen layouts, Kazushige Naba, Yojiro, uh, Yojiro Hirashita. Graphics retouch, by Koji Kondo. Parts modeling by Yojiro Hirashita. Alright, a small dev team that really wanted to drag out the credits as long as they could. To, to fit with the music, I understand. Font design, Yojiro Hirashita. Roche and Shinpei Harada and Mizuo Mochizuki. Test drivers, Shinpei Harada. Mizuha Mochizuki, Nabea Moria, Koji Sugimori, Kiyuaki Matsumoto, and Yoshinori Tagawa. Special thanks to Hiroki Okunobe. And my special thanks to Dave for buying me this game. Thanks, Dave. Ah, there's the min mini. Three stages. It really is quite short. Still, wonderful game. Staff of Yano Monkey. Haven't, haven't we already seen all this? Oh no, this is the publisher, right? Takehise, uh, Takehisa Abe, director Yoshito Nakagawa, assistant director Yasuyuki Kubo, publicity by Naoto Ozawa, Masatoshi Sakamoto, and Tomi Hakoda. Who's responsible for the amazing 3D cutscenes? I suppose that was earlier. Yeah, see, that's a really high quality, high detail truck compared to the in game models. There we go, staff of CG movies. Subscript, Kazushige Naba. Sorry, but Kakusaka. You guys again. Director, Makoto Tunikawa. Open Heart CO. CG Design, here we go. Masamichi, Kawanabe, Masayuki, Itokazu, Kazuhiro Higuchi. Sound effects by Japan Media Programming Co. Limited. Well, I won't need to cut any of the failures out because uh, even with that, it's, a, it's not a very long game, is it? for some post credits fun we want to try out some other cars oh here we go all music tracks all music tunes sorry are composed by Shigeo Naka produced by Shigeo Naka and Hideo Sano and performed by the Surf Coasters by the courtesy of Victor Entertainment Incorporated voice effects by Darren Steve Jonathan and Mona in collaboration with Boomerang Films Inc in Sino California those are your voices Darren Steve Jonathan and Mona well I guess they did just go, wah, wah, look out. Fujifilm logos, original trailers, Fuji photo, UCC logos, UCC Ocean Coffee. Pocky and Tomato Pretz? What? I didn't see any Pocky ads. I thought I saw a UCC and didn't really think of it. I've had UCC black coffee before, it's Japanese, but Pocky. Wow. I'm going to go have to have a look around for the Pocky bull, but I... Probably just didn't notice it while I was driving. Ah, Exiriaki Irie, Olivier Veyrac, Melvin Kendall, Simon Valens, Danny Winterburn, Julia Page, Stefan Levine, Mark E. Johnson, Ricky K. Tony Moto, David Silviera, Rob Fleischer, and Joe Koberstein. This game has been released in Japan and Asia with the title of Runabout. Yeah. So, Felony 1179 in 
rest of the world is run about Japan and super run about San Francisco edition is a, a Dreamcast sequel, which is very difficult. This game, not so much. Yeah, there you go, ASCII Entertainment. Thank you, ASCII Entertainment, for making this wonderful, if incredibly short, but so high quality, beautiful. You know, it's like like a tiny chocolate biscuit. I've never seen that. You know, like, like a really delicious biscuit that's really small, but, you know, you, you like it because it's great. I don't know, it wasn't a great analogy. Let's see what cars we unlocked and take them to level one, since I didn't fail that one. We've got time trial as well, but... Well, what's the time trial like? Was that just to, uh... Paris, downtown... Hmm... So what do you, what's different about time trial mode, I wonder? Go downtown time trial. What other cars have we got? Bus. The DTK! Oh wow! It's a truck. Cab over design, six wheels. Interesting. And the limousine, oh boy. Oh, that's all we've got. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve more cars locked. How do you get them? I guess I'll try being a time trial. Let's go time trialing in a in that truck, because why not? Driven it yet? Let's drive a truck. All right, time trial downtown. Yes, yeah, stage one. We didn't get to see this one multiple times, so we didn't lose, as I said before. Be on the lookout for any pocky advertising. Oh, ready. <laughs> ready? Go. Yeah. Ooh, section lap. So do I have to worry about objectives here, or just drive? Seriously, for pizza. No pocky ads yet. Whoa. I'm not getting points for destroying these cars here. It's just about the time. Which means I probably ought not to drive a car like this. But that's alright. It's not a car, it's a truck. Just for the fun and variety of it. I, I really appreciate that commitment to ridiculousness. Oh, that's a bad... Is there someone hanging off the... <laughs> like someone is hanging off one of the clotheslines going across the street, I wasn't sure. Damage gauge, my car was being visible.
beautiful rock arch. It's beautifully designed maps all around. Now, the game has other shortcomings, mostly that it is so very short. That was a sign for Fujifilm, I just wanted to see the hockey. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> oh, lovely. A lovely relic of an earlier time. And just, it still plays right, you know. There's nothing wrong with these vehicle controls. Well, okay, there's a lot of things wrong with how the NSR drives. Um, but it's perfectly playable. Yeah, so we'll say some old games just, you know, they don't work anymore. This one still does. Notice the section laps are called hot tin. The first section laps a lot longer than the rest. So by completing this in time trial, perhaps I will unlock another vehicle. There are a lot, I mean, twelve more vehicles to unlock. It's crazy. Isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why did I hit 350 kilometers an hour? What happened? I just hit a tree and then... Oh my god! How did that happen? Okay, heading down here. Fast time, and it will be better than 10 minutes. Oh. Yeah, get, come on. This downtown is not very downtown -y. I guess now we're uptown. Or west town. Right town, left town, east town. Okay, okay. 5, 23, complete! Did that unlock anything, or do we need to go faster? Complete! Yes, it is complete, but did we unlock anything? That's what I'm wondering. Well, it was not my best. Turns out trucks are slow. On it. What have we got? Anything new? Limo? No. Well, I don't know how to unlock the other 12 cars. Perhaps I can uh, come back and worry about that another time. Yes, yes, that. That is Felony 1179. Right, I better do a save. Yes. Okay, good. Done. Whew. Oh, my foot's wrapped in the cord. Right, well. Snake of Bacon, signing out. That was Felony 1179. It was a short journey, but a journey nonetheless that I enjoyed.